It began with the birth of a mayfly. Happy birthday, Mayfly. My name is Jonathan. Now, you don't understand me right now, but you will soon. If you're watching this right now, I've most likely been murdered. Dead, dead. To the right of you, there's a box on the ground. You have to deliver this to my brother, Adam Parr. He'll know what to do with it. I don't know where he lives, your class is charismatic, though. You'll figure it out. Don't try to open the box, or you'll destroy everything inside. Adam won't believe I'm dead dead. You'll have to prove it to him. You're a spanner, Mayfly. Each class of spanner has their own unique power, and each spanner suffers in their own unique way. Adam is the only one I trust with the box. Within the box lies a substance that can cure a spanner's suffering. It is called the essence. Some call it the secret. Knowledge will come easy to you. Gain as much as you can before you meet Adam. And learn to cook. He'll appreciate it. Find him quickly. You'll be safe with him. Good luck, Mayfly. And be careful.
I've had the same dream every night for the last 8,000 years. Trapped in a box, no hope of escape. You can't kill an immortal. So if they want to hurt you, they bury you alive instead. They keep you there until your mind leaves you, your memories are erased forever. My class of Spanner doesn't have to worry about death. Most days I wish for it, but trapped under the ground, that scares me. Now rumor has it my brother is dead. Can't be. Mortals don't die dead, dead. Jonathan's not dead. He was working on finding the essence. Some refer to it as the secret. This secret can cure our suffering. And some say it can do more. But no one has ever been able to find it. I used to be a detective. Now I spend my days as a marital therapist. Instead of solving crimes, I use my experience to solve people's problems. Sorry, I'm late. I got lost. How many do we have this time? 17. All right. Send the first ones in. This is bullshit! Harry! This is absolute bullshit. What? This guy's magic? There is no such thing as magic. And try telling that to her. They say you're one of those guys with weird lifetimes. That's why you heal couples in one session. Your power is that you see everyone's pain. Like magic. I have experience. Nothing more. But you can help us, right? You had a difficult childhood. So did everyone. Your mother beat you and locked you in a closet. In the hall, in the back. Never in the front. Hidden from everyone. You stupid little boy. You never believed in anything again. He has no idea that you cry every night after he goes to sleep. Weeping. Alone. The past is the root of your marital difficulties. If you want your marriage to survive, talk. If you don't, it won't. Thank you. It's magic. Experience. Nothing more. There's no such thing is magic. Andak Konyak. Now I'm Mojud. Avdal Konyak. Ah, Nam Nam. Mm -hmm.
Shukran. Adam, your brother sent me. A Mayfly class banner. Probably only a few hours old. Nice car. Thanks. The girl gave it to me. One day old, you've already gotten someone to fall for you. You are learning his skills yet. I learned how to cook. Cook. This is what we call a crash box. This is a modern design. The concept was invented by the ancient Greeks. You get the combination wrong, it destroys everything inside. My brother's not dead. Did he say anything to you about what you are? What we are? No. The average human being lives from zero to 80 sequentially. Spanners don't. And as a mayfly, my life is short. Exactly, lifespan of six months. You will be dead by the new year. Does that bother you? Not really. You pack a whole life into a half a year. Each group has its own powers. Mayflies are precocious. You learn a language in an hour, gourmet cooking from a book. Your IQ is in the mid 300s. How many types are there? Hmm. Hundreds. You got tweeners, carnies, random suicidals. Running more every day. So you're an immortal? My whole family is. My specific type is called a tree. We absorb wisdom, and we have a hard time adjusting to change. How could they kill your brother? They couldn't. He is not dead. Immortals don't die dead dead. He said in the video you'd say that. And that we should dig him up, just to be sure. Jonathan's done this before. Drowned in Gaul, shot in Spain. He even came back from a guillotine. He died, but he's never stayed dead.
This is unlike him, though. This feels different. I felt his body. Ice cold. He was dead dead. But he held something. A message only for me. No way. No way. What is it? It's a precursor to Chaldean. Her mother tongue. It's a dead language. No record of it even exists. What does it say? It says the secret is inside the crash box, and it warns that my family is coming for it. We still need to be on guard. My family is coming. My siblings. I haven't spoken to them in a century. They don't even know where I live, but they will find me. Are they trees like you? They are different. They are immortal, but they are different. And two of them are deadly. Phage is immortal, but has no immune system, so every bacteria and virus that ever existed flourishes within him. He can control and unleash an epidemic at will. Garion? Garion was a monk during the Inquisition. They burned him at the stake and he lost his sight, so he built a mask that helps him see with sound waves. Darkness is his own. They are both angry, and they are coming for the box. Hey, I won't be coming into work tomorrow. Cancel all my appointments until further notice. There's a couple here that's refusing to leave. I'm sorry. I can't treat anyone right now. They say they my parents I don't remember them but I don't recall a childhood either my memory only goes back 8,000 years as far as I can remember I was always this way and I know that can't be true Everyone comes from somewhere. Adam, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I cannot get a read on you, Tal. It's rare. <laughs> We're your parents, son. Of course you can't get a read on us. Shaman, though you may be. Shaman. And you are my parents. I'm sorry, how? Because I don't remember either of you. And why? Why have you not tried to contact me before? You left home 8,000 years ago, son. You just disappeared. We didn't know where you went. And we just lost touch. This is not uncommon amongst our class of people. We understand that the family is coming back together. And we wanted to speak with you before your siblings arrive. Is that right? I understand us showing up out of the blue like this is a shock. 
let me put it baldly. We know you have the box. You need to open it and share what's inside with us. We want to use Jonathan's secret together. That's why we met you in this formal setting to gain your trust. That box can change the world. When Jonathan died, you were the only one responsible enough to open the box appropriately. You are the natural leader of this family. No, I am not a leader. Oh, yes, you are, my son. You may not remember it, but before you left home, you led this family. You are going to lead a nation. And you're still a shaman. You are going to take Jonathan's place and lead us. And best make up your mind soon, because Garion, Fedge, and even dear Samantha are coming for you. And when they come, it won't be pretty. Black market antibiotics. You gave me a hot shot in your vernacular. It is what it is, man. Relax. I'm here for a favor. I'm listening. Friend. He's off the grid, as it were. <coughs> Goes by the name Adam Parr. I need to find him. Just the city will do. I'll put my people on it. Cool. <coughs> First one that brings me the information, get some cheese. That's in your vernacular, yeah? I'll let them know. Appreciate it. gift. No strings attached. There's $10,000 cash in there. And some pretty nasty shit, too, so... <laughs> I wouldn't open it. Look forward to hearing from you. I haven't seen my friend in a long time. <coughs> There you go. Got you a present. What is it? It's a GPS locator. Sends me a text if you get lost. Helps me keep track of you. What are you cooking? I don't know, I wouldn't eat this stuff. I've been experimenting with poisons. Now this would kill an ordinary person. Stun somebody like you or your siblings. I'll keep it away from my sister, Samantha. She's difficult, but deep down inside, she's good. Your sister? Oh, yeah. 
She's a piece of work, and she is always on time. Always on time. Adam, I know you're in there. Adam, this place is absolutely disgusting. The stench from your kitchen gave me hives. Come on in. Hi. I hear you're the mayfly. Yes. Please don't touch me. I'm what we call an allergic. You're not an immortal like Adam? I'm an immortal like Adam. Theoretically, I can live forever, but I can be killed. In fact, everything kills me. Bee stings, penicillin, hazelnuts, soy, even lettuce. I could cook you some chicken broth. Poultry byproducts make me vomit blood. But thank you. So I've come for the box. You know what I'm talking about? You have the box and it has the secret inside it. And why would you want it? I don't want it for me. She explained that the secret can cure her suffering. But legend has it, it can do more. It can be modified, mixed with other elements. But no one knows its full potential. Samantha also told us that Jonathan found the secret in conjunction with their so-called father. They concealed their work from regular humans under the guise of a pharmaceutical company. Adam, Adam, look here. I fight every minute of my life to stay alive. I'm happy. Please keep your distance. Your shirt has pollen. <sighs> Jonathan made it, so I'm the only one who can open that box. And I will do it without interference. And when I do open it, I will let you know. You will be the first to know. You do always keep your word. Yes, I do. Don't touch me. But thank you. What do you know about the salts? Donald and Ophelia, speaking of parenting, they contacted me too. I don't know who they are, but they seem genuine. And my memory doesn't go back that far. I can't even remember when I take my antihistamines. Who are you? Were your parents, Adam? Oh, no, 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 uh, Ophelia. I, I, <laughs> I think he wants an explanation as to our lifespan. Is that correct? Indeed. We're repeating spanners, and we retain our memories upon reincarnation. In every life, we get a different body. And Jonathan? What exactly did he do for your company? For our company, Adam. You're one of us. 
But Jonathan, he was ostensibly our employee. But in reality, the de facto CEO. The leader. Just like you will be. Jonathan was brilliant. Yes, he did have gifts. All of my children have gifts. And you will use your gift to take over our company. Take over? Oh, yes. Though you may not be a genius, you are a shaman. That's your gift. I have experience, nothing more. 8,000 years old and you're still a naive child. All those centuries interrogating suspects in London, finding the truth with your hands. That's not experience, that's magic. That's shamanism. Jonathan's brilliance made what's in that box, but only your magic can use it. It is not who I am. You're a deity, and you're going to pluck the secret from that box. And our company, our family, will take away disease, war, and suffering. And you will take humanity to its next evolution. Do you have any idea what's in there? No. I'm not the most astute. You worked for Scotland Yard. I used my experience. Experience. Yeah, I know, I've heard. You can't hide from your brothers forever. The only solution is to figure out how to open this box. And the only way to do that is to solve Jonathan's murder. I think it's time you became a detective again. some help using technology. Mayfly is doing his best to teach me, but I'm too old for this. All I know is people, human nature. We started by paying a visit to Jonathan's best friend, a spanner they call the Greek. He's a tweener class. They get stuck at one level of maturity their whole lives. The Greeks always acted about 20. Yeah. Fraternity house? This is it. Don't hit a college student. Party's just starting, bro. What up, bro? How you doing? And you're the Mayfly. I heard about you. You live fast. Want a beer? Sure. Bro, can you get him a beer? Here you go, dude. Thanks. For you, Adam. I got your favorite. Gift from Jonathan, actually. We worked this vineyard, Jonathan and me. When's the last time you saw him? <laughs> About a week before the murder. It's like, it's like he knew he was gonna be dead, dead, man. Yeah, well, what did he tell you? We were drinking, and you know your brother was smart. I mean, fucking smart. He was telling me how he found the secret, and that it was the key to heaven, and that, and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and, and that the, the world wasn't ready for it yet. So he had to put it in this box. 
So you put it in the box, and at its root, this stuff was called the essence. Did he say anything about how to get into the box? Maybe, I was drunk. But he did say you might want to get a hold of the old man. I didn't believe that. I mean, who does that? I haven't spoke to Jonathan since we worked these fields. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, but, but, you should contact Ed. No, he's too much trouble. Listen it's to me. It's a big game downtown right Listen now. Listen to me, no, he's too much trouble. We could go down there and pump him for some info. We got your back. Come on, man, it'll be fun. Come on. Let's go. We go. lives life in slow motion. His body can't adjust, but he sees and hears everything. And Ed uses his powers to his advantage. Here's your river. Flip him. <clears throat> Eight high. <laughs> Ten high. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. Bro. What kind of dude goes all in on a ten high? I see everything. <laughs> This is set up. <laughs> oh. You know Jonathan is dead. How was he killed? The box. The box killed him. What's inside the box? <laughs> the secret? Evan. The essence. You've seen what's inside? <laughs> yeah. I see everything. <laughs> Not just saying someone's heartbeat or palm sweat. Did you actually see it? Yeah, I saw it. Jonathan showed me. He showed me everything. He gave me a piece of heaven. <laughs> he was going to cure the rest of me, but he got killed. <laughs> the essence killed him. Too bad. Jonathan told you to go see the old man. 
He did. Who's this old man everyone keeps talking about? He's the historian within the Spanner community. Interfering with his work has dire consequences. Adam, you're an immortal. What can they possibly do to you? Go talk to him. But first, you should talk to Jonathan's wife. Jonathan had a wife. He should have told you. But be aware that whoever killed your brother got to her first. <laughs> We tracked her down at the edge of town. She's a carny class spanner named Atreya. They reincarnate, some say from animals, and their memories are almost completely porous. Well, they paid a year in cash and they left. I'm sorry, they did what? They dropped her off and they left. I, I know nothing more. Do you see her? You know, she never comes out of her room. Never? Never. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Jonathan and I hadn't spoken in a century. Perhaps he wanted her hidden. They took me, put me in a room and it was dark. I don't remember anything. Not even Jonathan. Vague. Bits and pieces. Mostly, I remember darkness. No sound, no light. Darkness. Memory wipe. Do you remember anything over the past week? I remember. I remember I found this when I woke up. Jonathan used high security password protection. It's like the crash box. If we get the wrong code, it destroys the file. He's asking, when is the last time I truly knew you? Four digits. Eighteen seventy one. I found it, Adam, the essence, the secret. I found the substance that can cure any spanner suffering. I can't risk this falling into the wrong hands. Dad and I aren't even safe anymore. Gary and Phage, Lord knows we can't trust them with it. You have to see the old man. I know, you don't want to see him. No one does. But I gave the code to the crash box to him. He's the only one I trust, so use your tools. Good luck. So this old man, what is he exactly? A sleeper class. They wake for a single day every 10 years, but the old man, he uh, records everything he sees, acts as our historian. And we can't talk to him? No. 
even acknowledging his presence as a form of interference. It's death for you. Memory wipe for me. I mean, to erase my memory, they have to isolate me for a hundred years. No light, no sound, just, just darkness. It's the only thing I fear. A century in a box. It's worse than death. I'm sorry, we get so many customers, so I, I can't help you. Now, I know this is the only shop in the city that sells Louis XIII cognac, so I know Adam shops here. There's 200 in that one. There's 1,800 in that one. to him without receiving the full punishment. Adam, I'm not afraid. You shouldn't be either. The old man doesn't bury anyone personally. It's his bodyguards. They're fools, but they're dangerous. Rumor has it they buried a group of immortals a thousand years ago and forgot dig them up. They're still down there. Mindless, but still screaming, pleading for daylight. Adam. Never thought I'd see you again. Who's this? Brought along a little friend, have we? Watch where you tread, Mayfly. I must apologize for my partner here. He's just a little envious, that's all. I must admit, so am I. See, we've been protecting the old man for 10 millennia, and we've never been allowed to speak with him once. Not once. Let me know what he sounds like, will you? So fast. It's making me feel irrelevant. <laughs> I'm glad you came, Adam. Spanners have many groups, tribes, clans, but none is as powerful as your family, Adam. Every culture has an object that changes everything. 
Prometheus's fire, Pandora's box, and the apple from the Garden of Eden. Well, what do we do? I do not know. It's not my job to interfere. My brothers Garion and Phage are coming for this box. And they're not as thoughtful as I. So if this box does contain the apple, it is your time to interfere. Jonathan specifically asked me to help. He placed me here as a distraction in case the wrong person came along. There is another that you will seek. For the one who can collect things can open that box. Igbo. I will awake no more. And you will not be punished for speaking with me. But as you get closer to the truth, know that there are those who will hurt you. Those who will bury you for a century. And upon exhumation, turn you into a monster. There's another old man. Of course. Jonathan always hid riddles within riddles. Bring your tools. Igbo the tribe loves tools. I was so afraid of burial that I missed Jonathan's hint. And Igbo is an old man, old in a different sense. The world considers his class to be simpletons. He's harmless. A little shy. Igbo? Igbo, you in there? Igbo. No! You tell Igbo, Adam wants to talk. Trog ages backwards on the evolutionary scale. They're also very good at collecting things. My brother left you something for me. Something for me. Let me show you something. Pleasure doing business with you, Igbo. A 
always a pleasure. The locket held obscure allegories in my native tongue and ended up as strange code that I couldn't understand. But Mayfly could. I've transcoded it. Down to two letters. Wanna try? Our life's short. Fifty years. The National Institute of Health. <laughs> Atoning for my sins by finding a cure for measles. I wish. It was Juarez, Nigeria, Libya. War zones. The 
drug me, drop me and extract me when the tide turned. The perfect weapon, Adam. Can't die, can carry any germ into enemy territory and leave no traces for Geneva. <coughs> and I'm sick of it. Sir. No. He told you I've killed more people than every war combined, right? Right? Yeah. And the world's better off without you. <laughs> That's my boy. <coughs> That's my boy! He'll be shriveled up dead in a chick's bed in a few months, but at least he's got the balls to speak the truth. The world is better off without me, isn't it, Adam? Come on, Adam. Say what you've always felt. Oh, the world does not care who lives or dies, but humanity Humanity is better off without you. That's it, Adam. That's it. That's right. I'm not killing myself. The essence in its rawest form simply takes away his banner's power. dead at 70, but this material can still help our dear brother here. Modify the essence and you can give Gary on his sight back. And more. More. So much more. Wow. You're the detective. Figure it out. That's right. It's not good enough. Gary on. Gary on. Stop. I never go back on my word. You know that. That's the last of this stuff left on Earth. Take care of it. Phage. Donald and Ophelia. They are our parents. Yeah. Don't you remember? No. Lucky you don't. does cure Spanner's suffering. It does this by making us human, mortal. That's what so many of us have wanted for so long, to be human. You are the only ones I trust with it. But if the essence is modified, it can unleash all kinds of power. That's why I had to hide it from Donald and Ophelia. They want it for all the wrong reasons. Humanity's not ready for this. Perhaps one day they will be. Until then, the last of the essence is in your hands. It's up to you and Mayfly to protect it. Destroy us either. I sense that. 
what does he want? I admire Mayfly's ambition, but he might be in over his head on this one. Things go really bad. You release this. It's a poison. You'll wake up in two hours. He won't. You'll see him in his next life. You need to disappear. Like hell. This is not your fight. Just so you know, I'm gonna be close by. Do you have any, uh, cognac? I'm all out. <laughs> Your mother couldn't make it tonight. She was feeling a little indisposed. I killed him, my own son. The essence, the secret, the apple. It's all the same thing. See, your brother was a genius, but he never understood that. Jonathan thought that if we took a bite out of the forbidden fruit, we'd be kicked out of the Garden of Eden. And he'd be right. You know, once you open the box, there's no going back. But my dear son Jonathan missed the big picture. He thought that Eve taking the apple was humanity's lowest point. I say it was our greatest triumph. Plucking the apple against the Lord's wishes was humanity's first choice. Oh yeah, we've paid the price for war, disease, suffering. But look at what we've done. You think you fly, split the atom, go to the moon by sitting on your ass in a fucking garden? This essence can give any person any power they choose. Invincibility is just the beginning with you leading the way. We need to study it to bring it to its fullest potential. And if I don't? Then I'm left with but a single option. You have two brothers who are sociopaths and one invalid sister. She may not have your gifts, but she's more malleable. So if you're not up to the task, we'll have her lead. You are her son, what's it gonna be? Well, I say, what we should do, we just enter the wrong combination. Destroy what's inside. Whoa, 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 not, not, not that, son. I'm begging you. That's it. That's just, that's 
just talk, eh? You want to talk? Stop him. The plan backfired. No plan. What do you say we wipe the slate clean? Start over. Let him go, old man. Not today, son. I did this to you boys a few times. You, 8,000 years ago. Your brother, 100 years ago. But Jonathan still got smart. You won't. One day you're gonna thank me, son. I'm gonna give you a year's worth of light just so you can think about what you've done. They say the first six months are the hardest. Your mind is all there. You can't even sleep. Then your memory 
memories go, slowly. First the knowledge you acquired, then the people you knew. After eight years, your language, your incoherent. You don't know where you are. I have got to find a way out of here. That's it, dig! Dig! I'm right here! Come on! Come on, hurry! GPS helps me keep track of you. Hello, Donald. I'm still here. I have what you want. I'm ready to lead. I knew you had what it took to run the company, Adam.
Don't you know that I'm invincible? This is tranquilizer mixed with some of the raw essence. This is your last lifespan. Hi, Dad. Hello, boys. Adam, it's time to go. Life's short. Jonathan feared neither burial nor death, and now he has both, but he was ready to go. I thought I was too, but Jonathan made me see how much more there was to experience. Mm -hmm.